Okay, welcome to the great big card swap. This is part two. <laughs> Excuse me. I just like sucked up some air and it took my breath away. Oh, this is part two of the March 2022 um, showcase. So um, we get so many cards that we break them up into two videos. So the first part, we had 60 animal um, cards. If you haven't seen that, I will add the link to the video description when we're all done. So this is part two. This is what came in the second half of the month. And um, we have 50 animal themed cards to share with you before. If this is your first time tuning in and you're not familiar, the great big card swap is open to everybody. Everybody, 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 anybody who makes cards can send one in. So here's how it works. There's a new theme each month. You send in a card. You get to see them all in these showcase videos, and then you get one back. So you want to make sure that you include a return postage stamp in your envelope. You also want to make sure to leave your card blank so that whoever gets your card can pass it along to somebody else. That is what I love so much about the Great Big Card Swap is it's just like continuous happy mail. <laughs> I get happy mail, you get happy mail, and then we pass them on to somebody else and we just keep that happy meal chain going. Um, so there's really not a whole lot of rules. You can use Stampin' Up or not. You can use retired stuff or not. <laughs> um, I do try to sort them out in return. If you if you use only current Stampin' Up stuff, I will try to swap it out and give you the same thing, only current Stampin' Up back. Some of you mix and match a lot. So sometimes we have like half current and half retired or <laughs> um, not Stampin' Up or half not Stampin' Up and right. half... Oh! <laughs> half stamp it up so uh send it all in there is really uh there is really no wrong way to send a card i am asking now that you only send one card uh, per month so um <laughs> there are just, are just so many so it, it got to be a lot so one card um per person per month and um the theme for i should have written this down the theme for um april is nature um, and by nature, I want to include, um, I can't think and write at the same time. <laughs> okay, so nature is going to include weather, like rain, umbrella, rainbows, or ocean, landscape, cactus, rocks, trees. <laughs> you can send flowers again, because that's nature. So anything that you would find, like outside in nature, um, is going to be perfect. And then for May, um, anything goes. We're going to just have an open theme for May. So I, I want to see whatever your favorite thing is. So if you love designer paper, use designer paper. If you love um, animals, do animals again. If you love flowers, do flowers again. Um, you know what? I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> Let's do masculine in May. Um, I know like June should be dads and grads, right? But we want to have the cards done in May so that we can send them. Um, so, yes, we're going to do masculine May. I changed my mind. <laughs> we'll do anything goes in June, but don't send me your June cards yet because I can't handle more than two months at a time. Okay, so April is nature. May is masculine. I'll change the video description when we're all done. Let's jump in. I think I got all the rules. Check the video description. If you are an international stamper outside of the United States, there is a way for you to participate. There's a PayPal button in which you can buy three um, international return stamps for $5 USD. So I would love to have, um, I would love to have you participate. We've had a few from Canada and France um, participate. And so uh, I love it. So you might want to send in your cards a little early so that you make sure to um, get them in in time. Um, we always do our showcases on the second and fourth Tuesday. So I think in April, that is going to be the 12th and the 26th, if I remember correctly. Um, are you guys ready to jump in? I kind of sorted them a little, a little bit. <laughs> uh, so like the first, the first batch are like zoo animals. I think that's kind of what I'm going with. I'm going to bring in to bring in some grid paper because I feel like we're getting some weird coloring here. Okay, so the um, the the first set is kind of zoo animals. This from this one is from Cheryl McLean, and she used the in the wild designer paper. I love how she has this top that's kind of cut off and the um, the tires on the inside, and then this one here. And both of these, I believe, are um, cut out from the designer paper. So that's awesome. I can tell already that I'm going to be 
I just need to move my camera so that I'm not stretching so much. Okay, there we go. Um, anyway, I love I love how she used the designer paper and cut those out. I have this designer paper. Actually, I do have the stamp set too now. I didn't at first though, but I love that there's so many designer papers where we have fantastic images that you can cut out and use on your card. Be brave, be strong. You've got this. I love it. Okay, <laughs> Margaret, I see your question. What is June? So um, in the video description, I said anything goes for May, but we're going to do masculine May, and then we're going to do anything goes in June. So open open swap theme. I know you said you've got surgery coming up, so um, if you want to have it ready to go, maybe you can just pop it in the mail closer, um, closer to at least after April so that we don't have so many cards because it gets confusing sometimes when I have so many and sometimes I get it mixed up. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Usually I do these pre-recorded and so I don't have to pay attention to comments. If I miss your question, I do apologize in advance. Ask it again or I'll try to go back afterwards um, and and answer any questions that I've missed. Next card is from Maya Galantine. She used the polar bear. I love this bundle. This was from the July through December catalog, the winter one, but she's paired it here with the Beyond the Horizon, On the Horizon, oh my gosh, something Horizon designer paper <laughs> from the January through June catalog. I love this paper. It works for so many things, and I really never thought about it for winter, but this looks fantastic. I love it so much with the polar bear. <laughs> oh, very nice, Maya. Thank you so much for sending in your card. Next, uh, I have I shift I want to show these together because they both use the same stamp set, which is called I think Back on Your Feet. Um, yes, Back on Your Feet. This one is from Terry Biggs, and so she used the giraffe. Oh, it's a sigh. Hope things get better soon. I love that. And this one is the the sloth. And this is from Margie Baselski. Hopefully I said that right, Margie. Thank you for the pronunciation key. I love, can you see? She's got a little bit of um, glittered crystal effects on the bandage. I don't know if you can see that texture on there. It's, it's such a lovely effect. I think this is such a great card, Margie. And I love the inside too. Hope things get better soon. This is a fun stamp set if you know if you need to send an encouraging card or a get well card or you know, if you know someone who's kind of going through a tough time and things are all all twisted up. This one's still in the catalog, I do believe. So if you like that stamp set, look it up back on your feet. Next one is Zany Zebras. This card is from Mesa Sama. And Mesa sent me. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Mesa sent me an extra card too. So thank you so much, Mesa. I loved these cute little zany zebras. They were so fun in the they've retired from the annual catalog, but you can color the stripes or just leave it black and white like a zebra is supposed to be. I love these layered labels as well. So bright. Pineapple punch is this bright yellow color. Do you guys remember that one? We have new in colors right around the corner. One of them is a lime green. It's called um what is it called? It's Parakeet Party or something like that. Um, so <laughs> I'm really excited to see what that looks like in person. Okay, we moved on from the zoo. Although maybe you see these in the zoo. These are mere cats. And this one's from Cindy Peckett. Oh my gosh, you guys, this card, this card is so much fun. We have a little ribbon pull up. And when you pull it up, oh, look at that. The mere cats come out of the holes. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> and then we got the little lizard up there. Oh my gosh, I haven't made one of these in a while. I'll have to I'll have to do this again. Essentially, you have like little strips that are connected to the paper that pulls up and so it's a, a little a little fussy, but the result is so worth it. <laughs> and not just the cutest. Oh my gosh, Cindy, I love it so much. And the cactus inside. The uh the Gangs All Mirror was a stamp set that was available during celebration. Um three years ago, I think. So, so cute. You can do the same technique though with any stamp set. Like I could see the whale or the otters or um, hedgehogs, anything, anything popping up. I love it. Oh, Cindy. 
Thank you so much. Here's another one featuring a celebration cutie. This is the Awesome Otters by Rosemary McDougal using the Rainbow of Sunshine designer paper and then creating her own designer paper with the um, stamped party hat as well. So cute. Oh my gosh. I seriously love these little otters. <laughs> They're just so adorable. This was actually the only otter card. In the last video, we had several that used the otters and I, I was surprised we didn't have more since this was a celebration cat or a celebration gift choice in January and February. Next up is a card from Lana Alesna, and she is using an old paper pumpkin with this cute little bear. I just love this card. You are on my mind. Lana, I love this so much. Now, um, I, Lana, you did send in two cards, and I will swap them both, um, but I'm only showing one in the video since we're limiting it to one card per person. So I would prefer that you only send in one card um, going forward. This is, this is a change from how we've done things in the past because we used to have multiple cards. And March was the first month. This this month was the first month that we limited to just one. So um, no worries at all. I just wanted to reassure you that you are going to get uh, both both cards back. And I did receive them both. Next up is a card from Trina Hillegas using um, the Fox. What is it called? The Fox and Friends? Foxy Friends. Yes. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember this one? With the matching Fox Builder Punt. This was so cute. I miss that little stamp set. So this little tree stamp and the green are all from the same stamp set. And Trina made an extra for me. Trina, Thank you so much. It's just so stinking cute. Love these colors too. Smoky Slate and Calypso Coral. A little early espresso and mint macaron back there. Such an awesome card. Do you guys have the Foxy Friends stamp set and builder punch? Leave a comment and let me know. Uh, we've had some really fun builder punches over the years, and I know you guys. Um, <laughs> I know you guys have a lot of them. Next up, this is a card from me using the goats. Oh my gosh, I just love these cute little goats. I thought it was so cute. I wanted to get in a card in this swap as well. And so um, I pulled this one out of my stash. And um, I, <laughs> it's been, I, honestly, I love this card so much. I really love the simple layout that I haven't wanted to send it. I know that's so silly. <laughs> Are you guys the same way where you just kind of hang on to cards that you really love and you don't want to give them away? Well, someone will be getting this card <laughs> um, during this swap. So I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I have. You are the goat, the greatest of all time. Here's another goat card. This one's from Sandy Allman from Canada. She's used the picture this die with the brick wall embossing folder. I love how she showed off all the cute little images. I got you a cake, but I ate it. <laughs> oh, look at the inside. Mm, happy birthday with the cute little goat peeking behind the wall. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. <laughs> she says she's got to practice her coloring on this card. I love the sponging too on the embossing folder. That's really awesome. Oh my goodness, here's another awesome card. We're getting into our barnyard animals now. This one's from Janice Torgerson, and she used the um, the barn door dies and stamp set. She stamped this on cork paper. It says, I know how much women your age enjoy a floral moo moo. <laughs> And then we have a floral moo moo. Isn't that cute? I do not remember this stamp set. I mean, like, I kind of do, but uh, I have no idea when it's from. Let's see if she says inside of her note. She says she copied this card from a card she saw online, but she can't remember who it was. Uh, birthday banter is the name of the stamp set. In your words is the inside saying, and then the barn doors and dies. Oh my goodness. I love it so much, Janice. <laughs> Thank you so much for making that cute card and making me smile tonight. Oh, you know what else makes me smile? Cute sheep. <laughs> the sheep stamp set and the coordinating sheep dies were in the uh, last, no, not the last, last, this, the August and September celebration offering. I love this one with the sky and then the green for the grass. This one's by Carrie Cause. And we have a cute, <laughs> a cute little uh, sheep on the back side too. That was just the cutest. A little Z fold card here. So a normal card front and then folded in half backwards to make that Z fold. 
so stinking cute carrie oh my gosh i love it more barnyard animals look at these hens oh my gosh i love it and so beautifully colored this card is from cheryl ryan um and she is using i believe this is not a stampin up stamp but just so stinking cute live well laugh often love much do you guys have friends like this like <laughs> i feel so much emotion in this stamped image right they're just they're just <laughs> Uh, clucking away and chatting. I had lunch with a friend today, and so this this makes me think of um, this makes me think of talking with her and catching up. I just love it so much. Aren't they funny? <laughs> All right, next up is a darling donkey. This one's from Doreen Sanders. This was celebration. January, February, 2021. We got so many celebrations. I can't keep track, but you notice there's a theme. There's always a cute critter. <laughs> we have the otters. We have the donkeys. We have the sheep. We have the meerkats. We can count on celebration to always give us some cute animals to add to our collection. Love this designer paper too. Hee-haw. Hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. Awesome card, Doreen. Thank you so much. I miss these cute celebration um, I, I miss these cute celebration characters after they're gone, which reminds me, this actually, I, I missed telling you about this. This has a little wobbler. Do you love these little springs? You can get them on Amazon. Um, I, I just think it, it is so fun and adds kind of a, a fun little interactive element to the card. So sorry, I missed pointing that out when I showed you the card for the first time. Um, next up is a card from Christine Almont. And look at this beautiful card with the horses this is um i think she's got a note in here let's take a look um she says it is the um wild horse run stamp from laurel birch 2018 and then stamping up part of my story for this sentiment the feels like frost designer paper and the sizzix opulent cardstock iridescent oh that must be this back background oh my gosh so lovely I love the colors inside and that paper that's really beautiful oh my gosh all the details Christine thank you so much for sending this beautiful card and for taking part in the great big card swap I have another horse card this one is from Jerry Stringer and this is a Dutch door card so it opens on the top and then it opens here on the side oops <laughs> there's the loose postage stamp you want to make sure you send your loose postage stamp when you send in your card um, so that I can send your new card back to you. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I have, I'm going to make myself a note, I have a tutorial for the Dutch Door card. Um, I recently put it in a project playback video, so I'm going to include the link in the video description when we're all done. And um, I need to change the May theme. Um, <laughs> making myself a note here. Okay, so we're still we're still on the farm. We got some more cards. Next up, we have the Hey Chick. Oh my gosh, you know what? This was actually another celebration stamps up. We have the Hey Chick and then the sequel, Hey Birthday Chick. This first one is from Debbie Lindauer, and she used that chicken wire background. So perfect for this cute little chicken card. The inside, we've got the Hey Birthday Chick. You're still a spring chicken. Oh my gosh, I love that. These dies coordinate with the Hey Birthday Chick and the same die used over here with this cute little image. This one is from Tara Wolf and she has this fun card that opens up like this and then one more time like that. I thought that was so clever. So this is almost an entire sheet of cardstock and she has just cut out a quarter of it here and then uh, added some fun folds so we fold down and then back in. So I just love all the details on every layer, all the, the coloring. This is such a fun background here. Let's celebrate you. It's your day. Oh my gosh, who would not love to get this card, right? I love it, Tara. Thank you so much for that fun idea. I, I love all the, the flaps and the folds my girls love cards that just like keep going like that. All right, next up, oh, we have our bunnies next. I love this because when you think of spring, you think of bunnies, right? Well, it is now 
officially spring. I'm so excited. And so we have several bunny cards to share with you. This first one is by Judy Howard. And I was going to say, where's the deckled edge? Right there at the bottom. <laughs> I loved these cute little characters. This is a retired set from a while ago with the flowering fields designer paper that's in the current January through June catalog. Love the paper piecing here. So stamping on the white cardstock and then stamping on the designer paper and cutting it out. So it looks like a floral shirt. We have to celebrate this. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love that. You could use that for for anything, but especially, yeah, we need to celebrate spring. <laughs> Next up, we have two, two, two cards that use that Easter Friends stamp set. I thought I ordered this one, but I didn't, so I'm just going to have to place another order. <laughs> um, speaking of ordering, make sure you check out the last chance list, which will be posted tomorrow, Wednesday, May 23rd, March 23rd in the afternoon, and there'll be some discounts on the last chance list, so make sure to check that out. I'm going to be placing an order, I'm sure, so I'm going to order this Easter Friends stamp set. This is so stinking cute. Judy Coles sent this one in using that cute Easter Friends stamp set. I just love this little bunny. And then we have another Easter bunny one. This one is from Jillian Went, and she did a pop-up pocket card. This is so much fun. Um, you can put anything in the pocket. We had a card I shared from Alita Williams that she had a little tea bag in there. You could put a, um, a packet of flower seeds. What perfect way to celebrate spring and Easter. I love that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, Melissa was just commenting on the bow tie. It's such a perfect bow. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love the details on this card. We've got the um, hand pen designer paper, which is so perfect for spring. This is going to retire soon from the annual catalog. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be on sale or not, but um, it came out last May uh, in the new catalog. And so it's been in the catalog for a year and I feel like maybe we've forgotten about it a little bit, but now that it's spring again, we need to get this out. This paper is just so gorgeous. There's a cute little duck in there too. Oh my gosh, I have to get this up. All right, Jillian, thank you for that awesome card. We have a couple more bunnies. This one is from Jeannie Hurst and this is a little easel with a calendar. I love that. Oh my goodness. So we're going to have to catch up because we're already on March here. Uh, this is such a, a fun card and a fun way to display the calendar all year long. I love that. Nature's beauty back here and lovely as a tree. How many of you have that stamp set? Oh, <laughs> one of my favorite. I actually got it in my starter kit 20 years ago and it just recently retired. Um, was it two years ago? Um, so I know many of you have, have that classic stamp set. Such a great card, Jeannie. Thank you so much for sharing that. Next up is a card from Charlotte Nydigger, and she said, I gotta look at her notes. She said that this, um, here we go, the, the cutter quilt bunny is made from an old quilt from Etsy. Oh, I thought that was so cool to put that on a card. I love the way it looks against the, um, the green granny apple green designer paper and then we have the embossed um, vellum shape as well like that is just so much fun i love the texture i love putting something unusual and unique on a card i never would have thought to put a quilted piece onto the front of a card but um it is so awesome this is going to need a little extra postage i think because it's so thick and uneven so non-machinable um a, a lot of you um not a lot of you. Some of you do use bigger embellishments. So I should do a whole video on, <laughs> on posted. When I go through all the cards from the great big card swap, we, we get them all mixed up and addressed. And then we have this whole system of weighing them to make sure they're not over one ounce. And then we also do like a, a squeeze, like we feel them and see. And so if they're, if they're bumpy or, you know, uneven or extra thick, then we use a non-machinable stamp on it. So non-machinable and then um, additional postage. Usually there is, I'm going to say usually five or six that need an, an additional postage um, stamp because sometimes your cards are um, are extra heavy or just have a lot of layers on them. So um, anyway, this is non-machinable. If you ever um, are not sure, you can take it to the post office and, um, and ask. But um, I think a lot of the cards that we said, I try to do, I try to make cards that aren't so bumpy. Um, I really avoid some of the embellishments that are really, really thick and big. 
um, for for mailed cards. <laughs> a lot, a lot of the embellishments we have are not mail friendly. I will just say that mail, as in, um, you know, postage, putting them in the, in the U.S. mail. All right, next up we have some dog cards. Oh, I just realized we have the same designer paper patterns too. This one's from Linda Adams, and this is a center step card. This is so much fun. I'm going to add this to my list to put um, in the video description. Um, I have a, a tutorial that will show you how to make this center step card. And um, it starts as just a regular half sheet of cardstock. And then there's just some fancy um, cutting and scoring to get the um, sort of this like step back. I just think it's kind of a, a fun fold. Then it's embellished here with the um, Playful Pets designer paper, which is retired now. But so cute. There's nothing better than... Um, then to end a bad day covered in dog slaver. Oh, I love that. Do you guys have dogs at home or other pets? I've got some cat cards coming up too. Here's another dog card. This one's from Debbie Bustle and she used the same playful pets designer paper. Now the stamp set that coordinated with that that Debbie has used is still in the catalog. So if you love um, the look of these playful pets, make sure to check that out in the online store. Uh, we have these cute little trinkets as well. Such a cute card. I hope your day is a real treat. Oh, I love how you decorated the inside too, Debbie. What a great card. Are you ready for some cats next? I'm not a cat person, but I, <laughs> I know many of you are. Here's one that is really simple using the dainty diamonds embossing folder and a cat punch. Happy birthday. A coordinating envelope I'll send on to the next person as well. A friend like you comes around once in nine lives. Oh, Evelyn Boswell sent in this card. So cute. I just love this cat punch and it's been in the catalog for a while so I'm kind of thinking it might retire pretty soon. I love that you can do something really simple with it and have it look really great. So we actually don't have any stamps that coordinate the cat punch but I use the cat punch just on its own and I think it's great. Awesome card Evelyn. Thank you so much. Here's one that's not stamping out but oh my gosh look at this fun fold. This one is from Pat Williams. I'm not sure what you call this fun fold, but it kind of uh, fans out and has this like accordion almost um, diamond, like a diamond accordion. That's really cool. Hello. So cute. I love the colors on this with the royal blue and the craft for the um, cat. And do you notice the white colored pencil? I love that. I love white colored pencil on craft cardstock. I think it's just a fun way to add so, such a great highlight. And then on the back, have a perfect day. So there's a place to write back here. Oh, Pat, what a great card. Thank you so much for sending that. Check that out, Anna. <laughs> Anna heard me fawning over the card and she came running in. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love that fold. Oh my gosh. And look at how cute these guys are. Oh my gosh. I just love, I know they're little fluff balls. I love the cute faces. This one's from Ann Schillinger. And uh, I just love those cute little cats. They just have so much personality. Make a wish. Happy birthday. Those cats are definitely celebrating. <laughs> oh, okay, so what do cats, what follows cats? Or I guess what runs from cats? Mice! <laughs> this mischievous mice card is from Carmen Miyoshi. And I have to say, Carmen, I was a little alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that mouse has a, um, a carving knife. <laughs> this is the What's Cooking bundle that has the shelf. Well, actually, the shelf is from the welcoming window, and then the What's Cooking bundle has the accessories and the cutting board. Um, and it must have the knife, too. <laughs> what, is that, um, what is that rhyme? The uh, farmer, farmer, the, no, the, the, the three blind mice, the farmer, and the... The, the farmer cuts off their tails with a carving knife. I think I think the mouse is going after the farmer <laughs> with that cutting knife. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh. Sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. I love it, Carmen. So much fun. <laughs> Keeping me on my toes. Oh I gotta I gotta move these because they're falling over. Okay, next up we have some happy hedgehogs. This first one is from Michelle Cunningham, and she used that new happy hedgehogs. I love those stitched ovals. I've always found hedgehogs just, like, very adorable, and they look like they're fluffy, but they're not. I know, they are so very adorable. Wouldn't you love to have a little pet hedgehog? <laughs> 
I know the brass butterflies are new in the January through June catalog, as well as the hedgehog is too. Um, and I think they're so fun. And I like that they're flat too. Yeah. Like you could put a protective layer over it and it's still pretty flat. And then on the inside, let's see. Oh, Carmen or Michelle says she left the sentiment link for you to add as needed. I love that. You can customize your cards. How many of you do that at home? Do you keep your cards blank without a sentiment until the, you need to send them, until it's time to send them? Um, I know someone was telling me they do that. And I thought that's such a great idea to have it ready to go and then you can add the sentiment to fit whatever whatever you need to uh, here's another hedgehog card we've combined stamp sets here the happy hedgehog has the hedgehog and the butterflies and um, the flowers and then this is a hedgehog from another set this one oh my gosh cute on the inside this one is from Deb Rep and she, let's see what she says here um, she used the retired walk in the woods and the current happy hedgehogs for this card and a couple mushrooms from the iconic dies. Oh, I love that. She said she added a little wink of Stella as well. I really like these mushrooms. I don't know. You like those mushrooms? Yeah, I, like the mushrooms. <laughs> I don't have that die set. Mm, Anna's going to make me shop somewhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next up. Now, neither of those cards use the hedgehog punch, but there is a hedgehog punch that is totally adorable. <sighs> you know what? I haven't gotten that bundle yet, but I might have to cave. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. Next up, we have some turtle cards. This first one is from Julia Mazar, and she sent me an extra one. Thank you so much, Julia, for sending me one of those. She said she heard about an idea of using a piece of embossed cardstock to protect the popped up images and embellishments. That is such a great idea. I'm not sure where her um, embossed cardstock went to. I had... Um, my hubby was helping me open up cards the other day while he was watching basketball. Um, but that is a perfect way. I always use the, um, the great big card swap postcards when I send them back. So you'll get one like that. And the purpose is to protect the card from embellishments. But if you don't have uh, a postcard or a piece of cardstock like this at home, you can use an embossed piece of cardstock. And the great thing about using embossed cardstock is that it has like little nooks and crannies that um, the embellishments can kind of like fit into. So it's also a really really great option now many of you if you're getting this in your card you can use that when you send another card back oh my gosh i just love this i knew that turtle is just the cutest don't you think like textures on this like not the, the, the visual texture right? this one's like bumpy and this one's like circles mm -hmm. this reminds me of like a turtle like a turtle yeah. shell <laughs> it does. all right we got another cute turtle card this one is from angie leary and this is a pocket a corner pocket card and so it ha it's a little oh, card a that card. opens up. It says, you are totally loved. <laughs> Isn't that just cute? I, like the I know. I'm loving the colors, the black and white, and then Granny Apple Green with the soft suede shell. Yeah, I feel like you think of, like, turtles and you think of, like, green, you know, mm -hmm. and brown, and they have, like, the black and white, which I feel like it's just, like, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how to describe it. It's fun out. contrast. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one more turtle card. This one is, oh, oh, it's an easel card. This one's from Paula Schumann. And so this is an easel card where it's horizontal, so it's scored in half at two and one eighth. And then the circle is not glued down here so that when you open the card, you can prop it up. On the turtle. That's right, on whatever you have on Stampin' Dimensionals here. So it says, happy birthday, you are totally loved. This uses the um the so saffron marble people the um simply marvelous from the um celebration offering so cute it's time to celebrate it is on dimensionals it's that's like on dimensionals but also it's like multiple layers on it so it almost looks like it's not on dimensionals mm. so that's how it gets propped up is because it's on those yeah. dimensionals it's so cute it's like i know layers. it does look like multiple layers of the punch out Oh my goodness, so awesome. All right, next up we have some deer cards and several of them use the Noble Deer stamp set. This was one of, 
one of the first stamp sets I got. And I had it for the longest time, and I think I finally sold it. Um, but my husband and um, his dad used to hunt deer, and so I kept the stamp set to make cards for him. And I just found over the years that I just wasn't using it as much, and I was using other other things to make him cards. But I love these cards so much. They both use the Noble Deer. This one's from Wendy Langseth. And um, <laughs> she says this is a favorite set, even though it's really old. I love it, too. I love how you've colored here um, the sky but left the cloud empty, and it really makes that cloud pop up. Love the soft coloring here with the pastels and the grass and the... Um, the ground as well. It's such a great layout with a little strip of cardstock, and that is put together with a brad. Isn't that nice? I almost didn't even realize there's like stamps along the outside. Yeah, that background is really subtle with the pine needles. This looks like the retired chocolate chip. I'm gonna guess maybe ruby red. Um, the cardstock here, old olive, of course, is classic, and the crumb cake as well. What a throwback! Oh my gosh. Here's another one. I adore the simplicity of this card. Like, I just think it is so stunning in its simplicity. This one is from um, Nancy D. Jill or Mo. Did I say that right? Mo? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm so glad to see your pronunciation, Key Nancy. I saw your envelope and I was like, okay, do I remember this one? Um, Nancy D. Jill or Mo. I think I got it. Oh my gosh. I just love, love, love this. So we have the stamped image here and then the cardstock layer. And it's kind of subtle, but do you see the, um, yeah, like the distressing on the edges? I think in a simple card like this, those kind of details just really make it so beautiful. I love this card. Did I say that already? <laughs> Multiple times. Multiple times. So sorry for your loss. Oh my gosh. Beautiful more dear and more beautiful cards. This one is from Sharon Meyer and this uses the new Grassy Grove. So this is a new bundle that's in the January through June catalog. So this is one big die cut and then the deer are additional die cuts. I love the sponged background there. It looks like a sunset. It's just so gorgeous, Sharon. Oh my goodness. And the embossed sentiment over there. Thank you. It's beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> and I don't know why, but like, I just like love sunsets. So like when a car yeah. has like a sunset, and especially with like silhouettes. It's because you're my daughter. That's why you love sunsets. <laughs> I have a thing for sunsets <laughs> and sunset cards too. So, so gorgeous, Sharon. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for sharing that card. So this deer, the stamp image is part of the bundle of Grassy Grove. This one is from Wanda Richardson and she said she doesn't have a lot of, um, of new or current Stampin' Up stuff. So she stamped and created her own background and made her own like designer Ooh, paper. I love that. This cool. is the easy sidestep card and I'm putting that on my list to have in the video description for you, easy sidestep card. So look for that link. Um, but it's a really fun way to kind of have, or an easy way to have a fun fold. So this piece glues onto the back. So there's no fancy like cutting like that other center step card. This one is a lot easier, um, but has a similar kind of look. I love that. And then you can write on the inside there. Oh, Wanda, thank you so much for sending in this card. I, really I love it. the um, stamped background. I thought it was like paper. I yeah, like isn't that cool? Paper. It almost looks like camo. I think yeah. she used some different leaf stamps to um, to create that background. So fun. It's very nice looking. Okay, Anna, are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, <am> I? <laughs> I don't know. Are you? Mercy Ermakoff sent in this fun folds card and it has the, um, what is it called? Birds, free as a bird stamp set. And then when you open it up, it has these corner pop ups. This is that beautiful. That. <laughs> You're not ready for that. This is retired designer paper, which I just love. I love the designer paper in the background and then how these birds just pop. Oh my gosh, so fun. You guys might remember, I showed this card last month. Let me bring in mine. Um, and then I got one in the mail as well. So I'm going to show you that one. So, um, oops. That actually, there we go, right there. Um, okay, so this one is, my, oh, I don't have any mine. This one is mine. And I have the link already in the video description for this one. I think I called it the corner 
corner pop-ups or double corner pop-up or something like that. So I showed this one in a, in a Thursday night video. And I, I was inspired by one that um, Kimberly Barbish had shared for the great big card swap, the love theme. And so I was inspired to create it. And um, it is the same kind of thing that um, Mercy's done here. Oh, I just found her postage stamp. <laughs> Got stuck in there. Um, so the same kind of idea of having these little boxes and then the square that holds um, that holds it up. So it's the same concept, just maybe a little bit different sizing. So here's what I wanted to show you is I got one in the mail from Cindy Peckett and she cased the one that I did, but she made some changes on the inside, which I absolutely love. She did, um, she switched the sides because um, I wanted to use this this stamp, but um, I, I wanted to have the bird at the top. And I don't know why I didn't think to just like <laughs> reverse them. <laughs> but that's all she did. She just put the turtle on the right side and the bird on the left side um, and, and switched out the different image. She also made them a little bit smaller, which I love because after I made this, I was thinking that they were too big. So I really love the smaller version of these little... Um, these little pop-ups and I know <laughs> I know she sent me a letter and she said that uh, she was really ready to throw in the towel that this card <laughs> this card had a lot of a lot of pieces and she had to tear it apart a little bit but it turned out fantastic Cindy thank you so much for sending me your version I love the inside and how you made some tweaks and I love Mercy's version too with the free as a bird just so beautiful oh my gosh you guys need to try this card hopefully you won't tear it apart as much as I did <laughs> Um, actually, if you also, the thing I noticed was that this has a circle and this one's like this. Yes, so when I originally made the card in my video, I used this shape. And then after the video, I really wanted it to be a circle and I got my circle dies out. I like the bigger shape, um, but in the video, I did use the label Me Lovely Punch. That's interesting. Yeah, you're so observant, Anna. <laughs> Guys, we're almost done. We have a short little stack left. And the uh, the remaining cards all have something, well, okay, maybe they don't all. The The first batch is birds. I was, I was going to say they all have something in common because they all fly, but I'm not sure if all these birds fly. Do flamingos fly? I feel I like... I don't know. I feel like maybe not. So... Um, anyway, birds first and then the things that fly after that. So uh, first up, we have this tickled pink card, this, the flirty flamingo from Susan Campbell. And um, oh, I just love that. This stamps, that was a couple years ago in the mini catalog. Love the detail on this bird. So we got a two-step with the outline and then the color inside. Tickled pink for you. Oh, I just love that so much. Congratulations on the inside. So I like, like Isn't the it kind of sounds a little weird because, like, you think of black as, like, the absence of color, but I feel like the black pops off. Oh, yeah. It but totally like, makes the color pop. On the pop. inside, there's, like, it's what it is, it makes the color pop. It's, like, mm -hmm. in the black, and there's, like, all the color over here, and it's just, like, I don't know, it's just, like, I like the way that that looks. <laughs> yeah. I also think it makes the black images and the black words kind of pop. Yeah. So gorgeous. I love it. Thank you, Susan, for sending in that card. Next up is one from Jan, I'm sorry, Jane Ply. This is Jane's first time swapping. I love it. She used the Friendly Hello stamp set from the January and February celebration offering. And then we've got the stitched, um, stitched ring, rectangle inside. Such an awesome card. I love that stamp set. I'm so sad that it's um, it's gone now and won't be able to use it anymore. It, anymore. Uh, just such a great job on the coloring, Jane. Thank you so much for sending in that card. Here's another bird card. This one's from Jennifer Olson using this fun die cut wreath and the die cut bird. I love the way those layer together on the designer paper with sympathy. That's such a nice card. I like yeah. the way that turned out. Another bird one. This also is a celebration Ooh. bird. I think it was called a touch of ink or something like that. And then some, um, the hand, something hand penned designer paper. Um, that was black and white. That was also a celebration thing. You guys are so good. I'm telling you, lots of animals in the celebration offering. You sure know how to make someone happy. This is a Z fold card. So we've got the card front and then the front is folded back. And then we just have a diamond shape in the center there. I love that. This one's from Melissa Perry. So you're saying that this is in black and white? 
Um, well, yes, the designer, the designer paper is black and white, and she colored it. Looks like she sponged it. I didn't even know. I thought it was supposed to be colored. I know. Isn't that pretty? And then you said it was black and white. I was like, wait. It wasn't already colored. <laughs> I love that you can... Well, we have a lot of different kind of black and whites. Like, right now, we've got the alt or here. All Together, I think is the name of the paper. It's a 6 by 6 paper pack that's all black and white. But I love that you can customize it. So, if yeah. you want to make the flowers red, you can make them red. If you want to make them pink, you can make them pink, purple, blue. You decide. I also, I like that like, how his outline isn't just, like, black or, like, a different color. It's, like, green. I feel like it's just, like, nice and soft. Mm-hmm. Such a pretty card. Next up is another card from me. I counted up all the cards before we got started, and it was 49. And I said, we can't have 49 cards. <laughs> so I grabbed one from my stash to make 50. So we have an even 50 animal cards that we're sharing today. This is using the Crane of Fortune. I actually cased this one from the January through June mini catalog. Love the designer paper and then the stamped crane. Isn't that pretty with the gold? Yeah. It's pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, so we moved from birds to other things that fly. The next group, I don't know if, if bugs are considered animals. Are bugs considered animals? For, for this yeah. purpose, we're going to say yes. We have some butterflies and ladybugs and a dragonfly, too. This first card comes from Susie Eater, and she sent me an extra one as well. The one she sent me is a little bit different. Oh, actually, how about this or that? Which one do you guys prefer, this or that? One has the gold die cut and one has the black and they both have very similar colors with the rich razzleberry and balmy blue. So pretty. Those are really pretty. Which one do you like better, Ina? I don't know. I know. They're so beautiful. I like, I like the pop of gold on that one. You like the gold? I like the, the pop of the, like the black. Like mm -hmm. the way that I've talked about this earlier, like the absence of black, but also like it makes other colors pop, which yeah. therefore like pops itself. It's really weird. I love the full designer paper. I think yeah. I think I like that one more. Well, but I like the darker butterflies. That's really pretty. I know, nice. isn't it pretty? It looks like a beach, but like purple. I love that on the inside too. Oh, Susan, thank you so much. Susie, thank you so much for sending me um, a, an extra card to keep. That was so very thoughtful of you. And I know someone is going to enjoy um, getting your card in the mail. So, so beautiful. More butterflies. This one is from Cindy Bovitt. And I love these colors that she's used. Just Jade with the petal pink. Um, I just think these are so striking together. The butterfly is stamped and then colored and sponged a little bit. I think that's so soft and beautiful. Thinking of you. Oh, I love that on the inside. Yeah, that, that is like a really pretty color combination. It's like, it's, Isn't it? It's like so simple because it's like just like so few colors. But like it's just so beautiful mm -hmm. so beautiful all right next up we've got a dragonfly card this one is from jake myers and she's included a few extra die cut goodies in there for her new stamping friend i always love jake you have the best stamps if you lick the frosting off a cupcake it becomes a muffin and muffins are healthy right <laughs> why are the best things in life either bad for you or fattening Oh, the more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap, stay safe, and eat cake. <laughs> I love that advice. I take it to heart. <laughs> Jake, thank you so much for this awesome card. I love the die cuts with the dragonfly and the designer paper in the background with the like garden wishes. I know. Crazy. She always has such fun, sparkly papers, too. Okay, our last two cards are two ladybugs. This Lady first bugs. one is from Michelle Bunt, and she is using the new ladybug bundle and the coordinating stamp image. I just love that so much. The flower is also in the stamp. Hello, hello, hello. You know, when I make my ladybug cards, I just write hello, hello, because that's how I start my videos. <laughs> but there are three ladybugs down here, so hello, hello, hello one for each of them. <laughs> I love it. I've always Isn't loved that cute? Ladybug. Nice and classic. Nice and classic. That's Here's cool. another Ladybug card. This one's from Julie Ann Wilson. I love that she used some different colors. Like, yeah. I always use red. So, 
We have we have the classic ladybugs. Yeah, we, we have the not classic. The ladybugs. not. I know. I love this paper. So, uh, she's using the sunshine and rainbow designer paper from Celebration, which has this fun bright stripes, the magenta madness, and the polka dots as well. I love those brass butterflies. The butterflies. And <laughs> this reminds me of my class coming up that uses the same sunshine and rainbow designer paper. And so I just want to tell you guys about that really quick. I just posted this yesterday. I'm super excited about it. Uh, my next free online class will be Monday, April 4th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Central Time. It's going to be a YouTube Live. You can reserve a card kit to stamp along with me at tinyurl.com slash M-A-R for March 2022 SOTM. I will have a PDF only option available on Friday. I'll put it up in my Etsy store. But if you want to get the card kit, this is what is included. You'll have um, some pre-cut cardstock and envelopes so that you can make the cards. Um, you are going to have to provide all of your own stamping and the detailed die cutting that is coordinating with the rainbow dies. Um, you'll get one each of 12 different rainbow and sunshine designer papers, which you'll also cut to use on the cards. I just, I'm so excited about these cards. They're so, so cute. I gave yes. a sneak peek the other day and I'm gonna bring it back out to show you. My favorite card is the pop-up. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so this is one of the cards that we'll be making a little something to brighten your day i love that it's i know so cool. right it is so much fun i was inspired by a card that i got last time for the great big card swap and i made it with the rainbows oh my gosh this class is going to be so much fun. So make sure you reserve your kit so you can stamp along with me. You can tune in whether you get a kit or not and watch on Monday, April 4th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Central Time, Rainbow of Happiness. Now, if you haven't participated before, I hope that you will give this a shot and participate in the Great Big Card Swap. Uh, again, the theme for April is nature. So rainbows and sunshine and mountains and cactus and you know, landscape and beyond the horizon, all those things. Um, and then in May, we're going to do masculine for our card theme. Um, so make sure that you include your return postage stamp, write down a sticky note or loose paper. No need to worry about envelopes. I will provide them. Thank you all so much for everyone who participated this time and sent in your animal themed cards. I'll get these swapped out and sent back to you. Now, if you participated in the, in the first round, I did get those in the mail on Monday this week, so a little bit later than normally. I try to get them out within a week after the video, but this one was a little bit later. So if you've been waiting for your part one cards, they're coming, and I'll get these out in the mail very soon. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the great big card swap cards that I shared today, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future card making videos. See you next time.